Today, middle Georgia community leaders and business owners had ha heard firsthand exactly how a base realignment and closure works, with President Obama calling for the restructure, commonly known as BRAC, in 2015. 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent tells us what leaders say Robbins Air Force Base should do to prepare for it. Robbins Air Force Base's $2.9 billion annual impact is felt all over middle Georgia. So it wasn't a surprise Wednesday when nearly 100 people showed up to figure out how to keep Robbins Air Force Base off the next realignment and closure list. I thought it was a very informative event for uh, all of us to kind of get a perspective on, uh, on what uh, a commission would look, be looking for. Two former BRAC commissioners from the last round in 2005 explained the process aims to get rid of excess spending in the military and that no base is exempt from consideration. If you take Warner Robins, which essentially does the same thing that Tinker and Hill do, uh, as the Air Force looks at cost savings, uh, can the Air Force afford to keep all three of them doing the same thing? The answer to that question is probably not. The former commissioner said it would be too late to start efforts to save the base after its name went on the consideration list. Retired General Robert McMahon, former base commander, says now is the time for the base to operate as efficiently as possible. Accentuate those things that make us a positive place uh, and figure out what you're going to do to mitigate some of the drawbacks or some of the negative things. In Warner Robins, Tucker Sargent, 41, NBC News. Congress hasn't actually approved the president's request for a 2015 BRAC yet, but the 21st Century Partnership is wasting no time just in case. The group has conducted more than 15 studies showing how Robbins lines up with similar bases.